as you can imagine, with Election Day being here, limited time to do whether I have a lot posted on my social media today as well about this upcoming forecast. This is a look at Cayucas earlier today. This is San Luis Obispo right now. Temperatures in the 60s and even low 70s. So warm, but not as warm as we have been. The winds are still going offshore weekly again tonight. But onshore flow is a bit of a factor in this forecast tomorrow. Later this week, it'll be offshore and the temperatures pop again. Daytime highs today were in the 70s and 80s across the board. We'll have more on that again on social media, but let's take a look at what's going on. Here you can see high pressure and firm control, but it's this little front here passing us well to the east that allows high pressure to start building in here. There's going to be a trough that runs right in here. The pressure change across the area will be greatest through Ventura and Los Angeles County. So we're going to see a significant offshore event down there and fire weather concerns are big. This is a look at the modeling for early Thursday, but here you can see for the central coast, it's just going to be a five to 15 mile per hour offshore. So we're not included in this red flag watch. However, we will be warm, we will be dry. If a fire were to break out with the conditions we've seen, it could be a problem. Here's another thing to consider in the extended forecast. It's going to be cold every morning up in Paso Robles, but Friday, Sunday morning, Monday, Tuesday, all really cold close to freezing here. So potential frost advisory territory here. And when we're talking about a forecast of 32, that means some spots will definitely get a little bit cooler than that. So kind of have an eye on this forecast coming up. If you're North County of San Luis Obispo, might be time to bring in some sensitive plants in this upcoming forecast. But tomorrow, yeah, 30s to start and daytime high right around 80 degrees again. The air is that dry. It can cool rapidly and warm rapidly. In Santa Maria, you're looking at daytime highs in the mid 70s for backing off to about 60 by 6. In San Luis Obispo, a quick peak of around 78 degrees at noon, and then the breeze out of the northwest significant in the afternoon, drawing temperatures down quickly to the low 60s by 6 o'clock. This is the big factor here. This little bend in the jet right in there. That's as that low pressure system and cold front pass us. The change in pressure will drive that offshore event. And for Southern California, it will be significant. I don't see rain until we get past the 15th of the month. You want my thoughts on that? I have an article at KSBY.com that breaks that down. 76 Santa Maria, 78 San Luis, 79 Paso and 74 in Santa Barbara for your post election Wednesday. 75 Cuyama, 79 Santa Inez, 78 in Los Alamos. Five cities, 60s at the beaches, mid 70s away from the beach. This is the cool day in the forecast. After this, we warm up Thursday, a transition Friday and Saturday, definitely on the warm side. 80s return to Santa Maria for Friday and Saturday. Santa Barbara, mid 80s on Friday. Paso Robles temperatures hovering along mid 70s to nearly 80 degrees and San Luis Obispo warming to the mid 80s. But again, it's that overnight low forecast in North County that we've got our eye on.